Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to make 360 degree images in Photoshop using templates. Uh, by using templates we can actually use this on photos as well as images we've digitally painted ourselves. It also means we don't have to use any specialised cameras or any specialist equipment other than Photoshop. First thing we need to do is go through to my website, the link is on in the description below, and uh, we're going to click on this 360 degree Facebook templates. Uh, once we've done this, we'll get this little box up, we click OK, and then we just wait for it to download up here in the top right. It should take a while to download, but once it's done, if we right click on here and click open folder location, it'll take us to where the zip file is. It'll take us where the zip file is. And then we right click on the file and press extract all and press OK and this should drop another folder just underneath it with all the files unzipped and if we click this this should take us through to our template folder now in our template folder there's lots of different templates uh, the top one with the sphere means we can look side to side and all around up and down as well and uh, we've got some that are uh, 120, 150 degrees for example uh, but today I'm going to be using 360 degrees so when it spins all the way around it will join itself to the other side of the picture I hope that makes sense. So I've clicked on the 360 degree folder and then I'm going to grab the template and drop it into Photoshop. Once it's into Photoshop I'm going to open the picture I've wanted to edit. Uh, in this case I wanted to use uh, like a moody lighthouse picture so I'm going to go through into my files, find the lighthouse image and then drag that into Photoshop. Now once it's into Photoshop, I'm going to need to resize it to the size I want it. Obviously I'm going to want it going towards... Obviously I'm going to want it going edge to edge with the template file. So once I've done this, I can then edit it as well so I can make it... I can change the curves or the brightness as much as I like. And if you've got any other things you'd want to edit, this is the time to do it. Okay. So I'm happy with this now, I'm going to click OK, and then I'm going to go to File, Save As, and I'm going to save it in a folder. Now at the moment it's going to be a PSD file, so when we save it's important that we uh, click down here and uh, we change it into a, a JPEG file. So we click Save, and once we've done that, we then need to go through into Facebook. So now uh, you all know how to post, I'm just going to click on uh, post an image, I'm going to select the image I want, which was this lighthouse one, and this should then start the upload. So I'm going to write just a little bit in here, and then once I've done that and I put all the hashtags in, I can have a little preview of the image. So here it is. Now this isn't the best image, um, obviously there's going to be a straight line where the image curves around because I haven't made any effort to make it a joint there. And actually I think there's a blemish on there as well which is a bit awkward. I'm going to have to give my camera a quick clean. But this should give you a really solid idea of how to make a 360 degree image in Facebook. And uh, once you've got the knowledge you can use it for whatever you like. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have given it a thumbs up it makes me know I'm going in the right direction. And I hope to see you in the next one. If you use Facebook a lot to post images, it might be worth considering checking out some of my other videos, such as how to create a 3D image, and also how to troubleshoot if things should go wrong.